Hi to Eagle's Journeys. Ah, Kryn and Eagle's Journeys. <laughs> and welcome to Eagle Designing. Uh, so I use the uh, kitchen knife to carve some chalk. Right. So why not? If you're okay with your kids using, uh, well, I don't know if I would recommend them using a knife. I think there are lots of carving tools out there. We don't actually, well, you know, we actually do have some carving tools. Nice, pretty efficient. I mean, not this knife, but you know. I actually kind of like this knife because it gives you, you can use it to get a texture, but the, the, the um, serrated texture. Right. Whatever. Right. Right. And yeah. parts of it are serrated, parts of it aren't. I prefer I prefer less serrated knives though, non serrated knives. Yeah. I mean, depending on what you're doing, a little bit, actually, a little, a tiny knives of both is work really well. Exactly. <laughs> but there are carving tools that are safer for you to get your kids to use and. So you can, you know, when they get bored of doing chalk on the ground or they get older, like when he was, you know, two or three or eight. Yeah, even when you were eight, you liked drawing on the ground and you were making designs on the ground. But at some point they're like, I don't know, I guess they get bored with it or they don't find it as fun or something. Um, and so you can say, well, you can carve like any if you chalk. have, uh, well, not just chalk, but if well, you have a bar of soap, cheap sure, soap. Cheap soap, chalk, uh, old potatoes potatoes carrots um he likes to use wood that he finds in our yard Ooh, hi cat Sometimes. yeah she oh, wants to be part of the video as well. Work pretty well oh <laughs> so if you want to see more videos of this cat this really pretty cat we did have a we do have a channel we haven't really posted much up there but you can check out more of like when we take her out for a walk uh eagle's she eagle's cat link in the description and also something pop up on the screen maybe yes so yeah, maybe we'll have a link to Eagle's Cat. If we remember to put the link, if we forget, you can say, hey, where's that link to Eagle's Cat? Um, but also I wanted to say, yeah, so Eagle is a designer that's just his very nature since he was three years old. You can go ahead and go to his Facebook page, Eagle P, A Designer's Journey. And uh, I don't think we have a Facebook page for the cat. We just have the channel. We have a blog, but I don't know if anybody actually, does anybody actually go to blogs anymore? Very often I don't, anyways. It's Eagles or Blogspot at Eagles Cat, something. I don't think we have a blog for your journey one. But yeah, for, if you want to go to follow his his designs, go to patreon.com slash K E E or p the Facebook page. But now let's see what he's what he created today. So what did you create? I took a Poke Dot one and I carved out the Poke Dots. <laughs> Basically, the way this chalk works, oh, this is a, a fancy chalk. Um, the outside is this purple color, and the inside is this, this blue color. But there were some pokey, pokey dot things carved in, or, or uh, they made on there. So what I did is I just carved them in. I just used a knife and carve. carve okay, wait. Shape what's in. a pokey dot? For pokey those dot. of us who don't know. Pokey dot. Yeah. So, you know, just lots of colors. Oh, polka dots! Right. Polka dots. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking like Pokemon kind of thing, no, and that was some. Um, it's polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. Yeah, Pokey okay. dot, polka dot. Right. Polka dot is, you know, this. Pokey dot is, I don't know, something you have to do with Pokemon. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah, I said Pokemon. Pokey dot, not Pokey. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokey. I said Pokey. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, I charved, carved up this one and put my little signature e on it. P. E P. Mm, kind of like EA it. because of the. But e yeah, it's supposed to be EP. Yeah, kind of messed up a little. Oh great, now it's getting uh, purple from my hands. Right. It's usually pink. Uh -huh. And so I carved, carved a little pencil, and I decided to do it on some others. So I did it on a poke button, so that looked cool. And near the end of carving this one, the pink one, I collected some of the dust in the bag. Which you can use for other stuff later. Which, um, um, you can actually stick, yeah, I'm sure, you can stick yours or stuff. You can actually also actually stick it inside, like, um, uh, cloth bag, mm -hmm. make a cloth bag of it and throw it, mm -hmm. and though it's kind of messy, it's quite quite fun. You can do paintball with bags of I think you would dust. need a lot more chalk I agree. dust for a lot that. More chalk dust. Yeah. yeah. This is all the chalk dust that just came off of cutting these things out of here. Yeah, a lot. Oh, also the, the top part. Oh, so you shaped the, the yeah, top, I shaped, pointed I shaped, it. Yeah, I it. Show them what the original chalk looked like. Here. This is yeah, a, that was the original this is chalk. Example. Okay, this one's kind of weird. It has weird stuff on it. I don't know. Take a picture of this. That's actually kind of pretty. 
But this is what the original, it was just, you know, some chalk blocks that we had from what left over from when he was a little kid. So yeah, save some of the stuff that you have from when they're little kids. You know, don't throw away the chalk because then later on they can use the chalk oh, yeah. for full, cool carving things. And it's still, look, it's still usable. You can still draw with it. Powder, and if you want him to custom make you some chalk, you can either send us some chalk, um, you'd have to ask for our address, I guess, uh, or become members with us on Patreon, and then that could be one of the things that we do for you, of a custom-made, custom-carved chalk. And so, he just can't help but to start designing. <laughs> that's just what he does. That's who, he, that's who he is. He's a designer. Yeah. We were going to chop this out because I was going to make some sun sundial lines or whatever, where I, I go measure shadows on each. And that was why you were carving them? That's, yeah. Well, that way I can get points so that it's easier to actually draw. It wasn't... How hard is it to draw with a regular chalk? Mm, not... You can't draw as... A fine, a line, a right. Fine. Well, I guess you could use a smaller yeah, piece of looks, chalk. This just looks cute. Yeah, it does look cute. And behind us, uh, we have a edible garden so all those plants that you see even the flowers that he is touching everything in that in fact half of that grass back there is actually garlic so it's actually garlic grass um, so if you want to keep mosquitoes away you kind of would grass. have to have grass. the entire grass. yard be garlic grass or garlic is not in the grass this is garlic grass it looks like grass it's called garlic garlic chives these are that's a close-up of garlic chives but we kind of use it as a grass and insert it with the grass and you could you could mow it theoretically um, I would kind of more recommend lemon thyme if you want to keep away the mosquitoes you cover your yard in lemon thyme and then that way uh, the lemon smell the citrus smell will help keep the mosquitoes away instead of having a lawn of grass have a lawn of thyme and if I remember and if you remind me I will put a link to this cool link that you could, it's an affiliate link to helping me um, earn it some income. Oh, 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 look, Blue Jay. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. My mom read me this poem, Bluebird of Happiness. Yeah, no, they see it. I really did see it. Now it's behind the window. Blue Jays are one of our favorite birds. We actually raised one when I was growing up. It was really cool. Um, although we, I had to let it go back out in the wild because they are wild creatures and you want them to be going back out in the wild. You want them to exist and be happy. Oh, I and I totally that. forgot what I was saying before. Blue Jays. No, before I Blue Jays. <gasps> That's our wheelbarrow it turned over. I was moving some dirt. Oh yes, now I remember what I was going to say. Now that the bluebird is... Oh, she's still up there. Blue Jay, sorry. Blue Jay. See, so you know about your wildlife. Know about what's in your yard. Know, learn about the birds in your environment, what they're called. It's really fascinating. And if you don't have any wildlife, start planting. Even if you live in an apartment, you can plant flowers that attract butterflies. And even if you think you have a brown thumb, if you tune into my Edible Urban Oasis page, uh, Facebook page, we will teach you about making it so that it's possible to have, even if you have a brown thumb like me, I thought I had a brown thumb, and I started putting, you see these little pots up it? I mean, they're not as very pretty. There's other things you can use, and but we did that to help uh, make water reserves um, in the bottom so that you can don't have to water so much. In fact, I don't ever water at all. And all the gardening that I do is about how to not have to water. But see, look at this. This is garlic greens. All those sorrels, that is something you can put in your hamburger. It's a nice lemony flavor to it. I guess you don't want to put that in a hamburger. That's a sorrel. Anyway. Yeah, that's the sorrel. And then I have some radish greens growing. And I just sort of tossed them in. I didn't do anything special. I just tossed them in. And it basically, it is possible to always have some fresh greens, whether you, I mean, this, even if you just have a pot like that over there, look, you can see the garlic greens growing in the pot. It is, this is one of the most durable plants, so make sure that you, and this is alyssum, which nobody really realizes is in the broccoli family, and you can actually eat it. I don't know how much nutrition it is, and you want to do your own research before you actually eat something. Never, ever just take my word for it. Always do your own research. 
but we do eat this. We eat, I can tell you what we do. We eat this garlic grass, like garlic chives, and we eat the sorrel. In fact, I was just about to make another video about that. Okay, but we were, what we were supposed to do on this one is talking about designs. So go check out Face Eagle's Facebook page and also patreon.com, K-E-E. -E. And maybe, if you want, we can custom design you one chalk thing too. Or a logo. Or a logo, yeah, he makes logos. So if you want, send us, if you want us to do a custom chalk, you can send us the picture of what you want drawn on the chalk or... We can make you a custom 3D design or a custom uh, logo. I can do it for you too. And now they cancel purple. Great. Is she purple? I don't see any purple in her. Oh, uh, you okay. know what we were going to make this video for? It's not purple. No, she's not that purple. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? We shouldn't have that on her so she doesn't look it off. Okay, but the whole reason why we're going to show this hand, except the, he's no longer as purple as there, we were going to show his purple hands. Yeah. Purple hands. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. Make sure you always stretch your fingers after you do projects or ideas. You know how to stretch your hands, Eagle, where you stretch it out like yeah. that? Do you know how to gra grab them like that, stretch them out? Looks weird, but yeah. You know, even if you're working at the typewriter, make sure you stretch, stretch your fans all the way out, your fingers all the way out, whether they're purple or normal colored, or whatever color your hands are. <laughs> stretch to stretch. Okay, let's see you do a full stretch, Eagle. Oh, look, is the cat's being stretched? No, she's not. Stand up and do a full stretch. Full stretch and the world. We do a full stretch up into the sky. Look at the beautiful, beautiful blue sky. Make sure you stretch today and keep subscribing and linking onto our videos and see what else we have to offer you because we are going to help you become better people by learning to connect with yourself <laughs> and the world around you. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.